Alright, so we're going to take a look at the uh, Mobile Suit in Action Destiny Gundam from the anime series uh, Gundam Sea Destiny. Uh, I picked out this figure uh, just because of the fact that he carries a huge, huge sword. Uh, he's also got a, a diverse range of weapons and uh, just really like the look of him. Um, so, uh, first off, the thing I really like about this is the fact that he can... Uh, grasp the sword with both hands. That's really awesome. He's got the articulation and the the range of movement to do that, so that's cool. So, nice uh, translucent, uh, kind of a purple translucent shield there, the Gian shield, I believe. Standard legs, pretty much. Now, of course, in the back we get to uh, the, the details, or the nice part of this figure that really stands out. The, of course, the uh, the wings, and also he's got this. Uh, to use these two holsters, one carries a sword, and the other carries this uh, really long rifle that unfolds. And I'll show you that in a minute here. So let's go ahead. Uh, basically, in terms of articulation, it's got the standard uh, mobile suit in action and articulation that you'd expect from uh, this line. Rotation of the head. Uh, uh, shoulders could go 360, but they're they're hampered by the the wings and the backpack. Um, it's got uh, swivel rotation in the upper upper arm, and then a double jointed elbow. Uh, there's some waist articulation, uh, and then uh, double jointed in the knees and your standard Gundam. Uh, articulation in the uh, in the feet so it's all present there and accounted for um, what uh, I'd like to focus on is just the the weapons um, first off you notice these these uh, shoulder pieces here these actually both attach so these come out whoa and what you can do is Take this piece here, and this gets inserted, and becomes his. Uh, I think it's called. I think it's called a beam dagger. So really nice uh, feature there, where he can uh, store his uh, handles when he's not using them, but then they're readily accessible when he needs them. So uh, your standard issue Gundam rifle with the scope, and it comes with two trigger fin uh, trigger finger hands. And then uh, it's got this shield, which uh, comes box like this, but it detaches via pegs, and it can peg down lower. So you have that kind of effect. I've seen this in other Gundam model kits where the shield, you know, pulls out like that. I'm not sure um, what, in terms of what in the uh, anime, what that function serves. So maybe you guys can tell me. Uh, again, like I said, I'm a casual watcher of the anime series. I'm more interested in the uh, the model kits so therefore I'm not tied to down to any one series as far as what models I pick out uh, I'm just pick out what I like um, now it comes boxed with uh, with these these two hands here and they're these uh, shoulder or shoulder uh, these are uh, these hand guards here come molded into the into the hand so they, they're not removable however it does come with these hands, this is the shield. And the only problem with them is they they, they peg into uh, this, this very shallow hole. So they come off pretty easily and they're kind of uh, a pain to get uh, onto the onto the, the figure. So I just leave them off. I think the the figure looks just fine without them. Uh, it comes with uh, two, uh, well we can just, I can just show you here. The open palms, or the yeah, open palms, and then the these two. Uh, what they are is they 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 plug into the sword, and I don't don't know why they have three of them. They really, as far as I can tell, they only need one, and the instructions don't really illustrate what they're used for. What the other two are used for, um, and then you got the, these two closed fists. So. Um, let's take a look at the articulation in the wings. That's kind of what's of, what's of interest in this figure. Um, like I said, it has a standard articulation for a Gundam. But the, the wings 
can go back and forth and then they can go down so you can have them displayed like kind of like this And uh, so, like I say, there's rotation there. You can see that's 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 a good view there, up and down, back and forth. And um, interestingly enough, um, this I don't think is an official uh, way that the uh, rifles use this long rifle. But if you put the wings down, I've noticed that you can bring this up. This articulate this has a, a joint there. You can see, and it articulates like that up his shoulder. So it kind of looks like he has this really cool looking uh, shoulder mounted canyon. Like I say, that's not that's not the official uh, way it's used. The official way it's used is it goes um, this uh, is unfolds like that and comes underneath his uh, shoulder. And let's go ahead and take out his sword here because that's kind of getting in the way of this demonstration. basically it comes underneath and there is a uh, handle it kind of swivels down actually like that there's a handle right there swivels up and he should be able to and I haven't really tried this but it should be able to, to grasp that so that he's got control of the of the rifle there so that's pretty cool again like I say the, the reason I like this uh, figure is because it has a, a wide range of weapons and that's really nice um, yeah, so, you know, if, if you like what you see, I, I recommend you get it. I think I got this guy for around, with shipping and everything, around uh, 20 to 24 bucks, I think it was. So, um, the other thing, a nice thing uh, I guess I should note too, uh, and this is my third mobile suit in action figure, is the, uh, the way that the wrists attach to the arm. They're hard to get off, which is good because I notice in some model kits they uh, they're really loose sometimes, depending on how it's put together. But these go on to really kind of push on them to get them to go in, which is good. You know, it's a good thing because you don't want these to come out these small parts to come out easily. So um, yeah. All right. So uh, this has been my review: Mobile Suit in Action, Gundam Destiny. Um, Really recommend it if you if you like what you see if you like the sword. Oh, I should mention the sword actually. Sorry about that. Sword. These plug into here and these come out. This folds up and snaps. And uh, and then it it, it uh, and actually what the other feature does I didn't show you. This hilt comes out so he has it actually has a a hilt for the sword but these fold in. And then this gets stored on his backpack, on the back of his uh, uh, back there. So, yeah. All right, guys. Catch you later. Bye.